this presentation on earned value management has a certain degree of overlap with the first presentation on EVM. The reason being is that the first presentation stretched into 15 minutes and since YouTube restricts the total footage to be less or equal to 10 minutes, I am having this second presentation. I have tried to cut short the first presentation at 10 minutes. It is not a logical break. So please overlook the overlap. In this presentation on EVM, I will explain two terms. The first is estimate at completion EAC. And the second term is TPCI to complete cost performance. To complete cost performance indicator. Okay. So first let's get back to our estimated completion. In the example that we had, it was a project spanning 10 months. Total budget was ten million dollars, and every month we had said that ten percent of the work should have been done. After two months, however, we found out that the reality was different, and we were lag lagging both in terms of the schedule as well as the cost. When I say lagging in terms of cost, it means cost overrun or a budget overrun. The budget at completion as we planned was $10 million and we know that we have achieved just 10% of the project in 2 months instead of the 20% as planned and this 10% has cost us $3 million. The formula which is normally available in the books and on net is EAC is equal to actual cost plus budget at completion minus earned value divided by the cost performance index. This is a very simple formula so you can actually get this formula. The simple formula that I prefer to use is to accomplish 10% of the work I took $3 million. Therefore to accomplish 90% of the work the balance 90% or in other words, I would say to accomplish 100% of the total work, the amount of budget that I would need would be, so it would be 100 upon 10 into 3 and that gives us a figure of 30 million. So 10% takes 3 million, therefore 100% will take 10 times the amount, 30 million and I know that I have already spent 3 million dollars. So if I were to keep up with the trend, I would need additional 30 minus 3 is equal to 27 million dollars. So my estimate at completion, the total estimate is Thirty million, and going forward from now, that is after two months when I already have spent three million, is thirty minus three, twenty-seven million. So this simple formula would work. You don't have to go in for the complicated formula. The other factor, or the other to complete cost performance index states that 
if there is a restriction on the project that I have to execute it in 10 months and there has to be no budget overrun. So I would consider this like a fixed cost project wherein if I as a supplier have agreed to deliver a service to you for a particular amount of time at a fixed cost. If I run into losses, if I have any problems, it is my problem and I cannot pass it on to you. So in such a fixed cost bid project, it is for the supplier to do whatever to ensure that the project gets done within 10 million, within 10 months. That is only possible if I improve my productivity. That means I'm able to do much more in the balance of the time left and I'm able to do much more in the balance of the time left at a lower cost. So what is this index and how do I calculate it? There's a big formula for calculating the PCCPI index which is, uh, I'll just, it is uh, budget at completion minus earned value divided by budget at completion minus actual costs. The simpler formula that I use is I have accomplished 1 million of the planned value by spending 3 million. So to accomplish the balance 9 million of the value with only 7 million in hand, my index would be 9 by 7. Let's see if I get the same value using this. So budget at completion I know is uh, 10 minus my earned value is 1 divided by <coughs> sorry 10 minus my actual cost was 3 which is 9 by 7. So actually formula is nothing but what I explained. I just make it simple that this is what I accomplished. To accomplish the rest in the rest of the budget that is allocated, the index that I need to be working at is what I need to accomplish with what I have. And if I were to take this ratio, this 9 by 7 is my index. It's greater than 1. And as we know that greater than 1 implies that I have to work at a higher level of productivity as compared to what I was doing previously and it has to be also at a lower cost. Now how do we go about exactly calculating earned value? In this example we assume that this project we have split it over 10 months and at the end of each month we accomplish 10% of the total workload that we are supposed to and therefore 10 times 10 is 100%. Earned value is calculated using five different techniques and in my next presentation I will take you through these techniques and when do you use which technique to calculate the earned value. Thank you for listening and please be back.